Hello, it's Rob again. Today I'm going to quickly show you how to use the date function on your Texas Instruments financial calculator. So let's have a look. So let's have a look. To access the date feature on the calculator, we want to uh, press second and then one. That gets to the date function. You can see right behind the one it says date. Let's do that, second date. And it opens up. If you've got a brand new calculator, it'll start with uh, December 31st, 1990. That's DT1 stands for date one, and along the top it says compute enter. That means we can either compute this value or simply enter it. I want to enter it. I'm going to put in January 1st, 2016. Let's see how we do that. Well, January is the first month. And then I put a decimal. And then I put 01 because I have to use two digits for the days. 01. And then 2016. I'm again only put two digits in, that stands for the last two digits of the year, so 16. So 1.0116 is January 1st, 2016. Once I've got it, I have to remember to press enter, and that will store it into DT1. And you can see it also changed the format, didn't it? We now have January 1st, 2016. That's my start date. Well, how many days would it be to, let's say, um, April the 15th. Well, let's see if we can find that out. We're going to scroll down with the arrow key across the top, and it says date 2. I'm going to put in, uh, did I say April 15th? Let's do April 15th, and that's 4.1516. That's April 15th, 2016. Press enter. It goes in like that. Now I'll scroll down again. It says DBD, which stands for Days Between Dates. We can compute that. Now that we have the first two in, there's three things here to worry about. Now that we've got the first two in, we can compute the third. So I press the Compute key up in the top left. It says there's 105 days from January the 1st until April the 15th. It's just that easy. I could do a few other things, though. What if I had a question where I said, Oh, I entered something, you know, I, maybe I took a, a term deposit out on um, January 1st, and I kept it for 200 days. Well, what date would that be that I cashed it in? Well, what is 200 days after January 1st? I've entered January 1st already, remember? Let's scroll up twice. That's what we had for date one. I want to find date two. I want it to be 200 days between. So let's put 200 in for days between dates. I'm going to scroll up one to get to date two, and this time I'm not going to enter it, I'm going to compute it. It says Tuesday, July 19th, 2016. That means uh, July the 19th is 200 days after January the 1st. It even tells you what day of the week it is, which is especially helpful for finance since things don't happen on the weekend typically. And it's really that easy. I could also go in now, I could say, well, what's 200 days before a certain date. Well, to do that, I would enter date two and DBD and go and compute date one. There you go. It's that easy. Have fun with it. We'll see you again next time. Well, that's it for now. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, go ahead and hit like and let me know. You might also want to subscribe while you're at it, and that way you'll get notifications whenever I post anything new. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.